tried to understand what are the reasons that God made um, these, these bitter waters. So the first, the first answer, I'll go through a few answers. The first answer I want to give you is from Rabbi Fran. Rabbi Fran says something very interesting. Moshe Rabbeinu goes to God and he says, listen, I sinned against you because I used the word as in a negative terminology. What did God, in Moshe Rabbeinu in Exodus, in Shemot chapter 5, verse 23, it says the terminology me'az, to when, it, when Moshe Rabbeinu goes to God, it says me'az, when I came before Paro, when you told me to go in front of Paro, that I should let the Jews out, what happened? Paro made it more difficult. Made it more difficult for the Jewish people. So instead of going and saving the Jewish people, you made it more difficult for them. So Moshe Rabbeinu used a derogatory term towards God, if I could say it that way, of the terminology me'az from then. So now Moshe Rabbeinu says, now that what am I going to do? I'm going to use the same words that I used as Yashir Moshe. Now Moshe is going to sing Shira and going to show, sing the praises of God. Because in the beginning, Me'az, first Moshe Rabbeinu saw the negative part of it. But now that he sees the positive, which we're going to soon explain, now as Yashir Moshe, now Moshe Rabbeinu is going to sing the Shira and, and, and the prayer for, you know, for God. Now, when Moshe Rabbeinu went and Moshe Rabbeinu prayed to God and said, listen, the Jewish people need water. There's only bitter water. What are we supposed to do over here? So what did God do? Showed him the bitter tree, take the bitter, bitter branch, throw it into the water, it's going to turn something sweet. Now, the normal procedure, if you take something bitter, let's say coffee, for example, you don't make it more sweet by putting horseradish inside it, right? Because it doesn't make sense. It's just going to make it more bitter. If you want to make something bitter sweet, you take sugar, which is sweet, or honey, whatever it is, and you put, or splenda, you're going to put it into the coffee, and that's, the sweet is going to make the, the, the thing that's bitter more sweeter. But what God did over here was did a miracle within a miracle. Because here you have, a, you have like a, a large amount of water. You could dump a thousand pounds of Splenda in that water, or honey and sugar and everything in that water, it's not going to make it. There's, you know, there's certain cases where it's like, it's a lost cause. You know, like you can't, you could can dump as much sugar as you want in here. It's not changing them. It's going to stay bitter. But what God did something, that the miracle was that not only God said, throw something inside of it, throw something bitter. Even the sweet wouldn't have done anything. But throw something bitter inside of there and then see what happens. What was the lesson? There's obviously a lesson going on up here. The lesson is that sometimes in life, God is teaching us, is that the bitter thing that we see, that looks very bitter, and we put, there's more bitter and more bitter and more bitter that comes into it, it's going to end up being very sweet. The, the things in life, the difficulties in life that we have, usually turns out sweet. It always turns out sweet. It's usually, I only say because sometimes we see it. Now, what had happened with Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu originally came in, and he... He saw the, the, the story in a chronological order. He says, I came, you told me to go to Paro. I went to Paro. Instead of making their workload lighter or letting the Jews go, Paro made the workload harder. So by me coming, I made it worse for the Jewish people. So why did you send me? And then what happens? And then the Jewish people left. And then they had the divine revelation. And they realized something very important. Originally, the Jewish people were supposed to stay 400 years in, the, uh, in, in Egypt. Really, according, you know, if you do the calculation, they did stay for 400 years. But it was supposed to be 400 years of, of slavery. But God saw something very, very imperative. That the Jewish people, if they would have stayed any longer, they would have lost they would have not been able to redeem. They would have went to such a low level, they would have been able to redeem. So what did God do? God took the slavery that they had, made it even stronger, so they don't have to stay a full term, a full sentence, and this way they're, they're going to be able to leave. So when Moshe Rabbeinu comes in, and Moshe Rabbeinu says, you know, Me'az, when I came over to Ba'o, I don't understand. But now that Moshe Rabbeinu, that all the Jews left, and they had a divine revelation, and they realized the divine plan, they says, oh, oh, oh. Oh, you ever had that in life? Oh, yeah, I kind of get that. Now that we see that the whole purpose that God made the work harder was that we would be able to get out. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to get out. So now we see that the bitter was really sweet. And that's what God's trying to show me here. The bitter waters over here, sometimes you take the bitter waters, it's not bitter. It's only the bitter that you see right now. But in essence, you'll see that it's really going to be, uh, it's really going to be very sweet. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.